So welcome back to the channel guys and we have been joined by a guest today and he's up in the corner here, Sid the Spider. Now he loves to keep a check on my content and make sure it is appropriate for you watch lovers. Now today's video hopefully is of interest and appropriate so Sid doesn't attack me in my sleep. Now this video is about the Pagani design homage to the Seiko Presage cocktail time. Now this watch is only 50 to 60 pounds, this Pagani design. So I'd put it more in the category of maybe a, as a happy hour watch rather than a cocktail time because, sorry, bad joke, but the Seiko Presage is a beautiful watch, picture of it here. This, about 350, 400 pounds, depends where you get it. They do vary in price. So you think, oh, I'm just gonna wear this occasionally to pop down the pub or see my friends, have a nice, easy night out. Not gonna go anything too fancy. I want something that looks really pretty, is a nice looking watch but I don't want to splash loads of money. I want to add to the collection, have something with a bit of pizzazz to it. Um, what's this watch like? Well, hopefully I can help you as a, a watch reviewer. And I also want to thank Jim for lending me this watch so I can share it with you guys. So let's take a closer look at this little beauty and see what it's like. So my friends, here we have it. The Bagani Design Happy Hour. I can't go as far as to call it cocktail time because uh, this is only 50 to 60 pounds. So as you can see on the uh, screen, I'm gonna pop up now. That's what I found today on AliExpress, how little this costs. And there's all those different choices available of colorway and strap. You are spoiled for choice. So my friend Jim bought this. He paid still only about 60 pounds, incredible value. And he's kindly lent it to me. So thanks, Jim. Now, he's put it on a different strap because the standard strap is not too bad. As leather goes, I've felt worse. This actually feels like leather from an animal, not something that's been sort of made out of a machine and pretending to be leather. It actually seems to have come from the skin of an animal rather than the skin of maybe an alien or something. But this is all right. And the funny thing is he did point out that this Pagani design logo, when you're wearing it, uh, that looks upside down, but they've done it. So obviously it fits in with the design, the shape of the buckle. But that's just, you know, that's if we're gonna be really picky and really pedantic, but as watch lovers, that's what we are. So your absolute standard Pagani design packaging. This is what you always get. A bit of foam, which if you don't like foam, you're gonna have a horror show trying to get your watch out of your box because my wife can't stand foam, so she'll never wear a Pagani design, that's for sure. Then you've got the unfilled in warranty book, which is about as useless as a chocolate teapot. And then you've got this Pagani design user's manual, which I don't see how you need that because if you can't work out how to use this watch, you shouldn't be wearing a watch. I think you need more help than that. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get more foam out of the way. Now, let's give the glass a quick buffing. I say glass, this is hard lex apparently, but it's got a nice blue AR coating. So if you go for the blue dial color, it actually complements the colorway. So bear that in mind, if you're gonna get a different colorway that the, the blue of the AR coating, they love to put on these, it shows up even more. So it might look a bit weird, but it works with the blue dial. Now the movement in this is a dirt cheap entry level Chinese made movement. I think it's a DG82813. I'll pop up a picture, I did research it. And um, they're not too bad. I mean, it's not a high beat movement or anything. It's got about a 40 hour power reserve. It's, it's got hand winding, it's quite smooth. It's got a quite a smooth second sweep. No stutter that I can think of. Some some of these entry level movements, they, even though they, they can be quite accurate, they do have this weird stutter sometimes, and it makes it look like there's something wrong with your watch. So this is a, this is okay, and they've put their own rotor on it with a nice, incredibly tasteful Pagani design logo and branding on the rotor. It's a nice little effort. Just got to keep bearing in mind this is a between fifty and sixty pound watch. That is incredible value. Exhibition case back. They made an effort with the rotor. You've got an automatic movement with hand winding, a date complication, quite a smooth sweeping hand, and then pull it all the way out. 
comes with hacking. So when you pull it out, it stops. So you can do accurate time setting on your watch. These are good specs. And I know this hasn't got sapphire glass, like a lot of good value watches do, especially from Pagani Design, but this one hasn't because um, they wanted to do their best to replicate. It's got a high dome on the Seiko Presage glass. And to do a high dome in sapphire to replicate that would make this watch you know, a lot more expensive because sapphire is, it's not like really easy to work on and make really nice looking domed glass, especially at this price point. So that's why they've used this. So this is more of a, a smart going out sort of watch. So having sapphire isn't as crucial. It's not something you're going to be beaten on too much. So I'd say it's fair enough to have that. So that leads me more into, before I go into the stats and specs regarding the size and dimensions, what, what is this watch for? I had a chat with my friend Jim and the cocktail time, it's, it's not a dress watch, therefore this wouldn't be, because the dimensions and the features aren't quite right. Even the, the Seiko Presage cocktail time that, this, that inspired this, that's 40 mil case size, this is 43, and the thickness is pretty thick on this, that's 13 mil thick. That's quite chunky. It's a dress watch is meant to slip under a sleeve, be a little bit more elegant and subtle. This is a little bit more uh, showy. It's a bit more making a statement. It's something you can wear to go out for a nice bite to eat when they open the restaurants properly again and uh, or go down the pub or meet up with friends. Smart casual effect. We go to a party, you know, hence cocktail time. So cocktail time is more, you know, it's, you, it instills the, the thoughts of fun and having adventure and going out and having good times with your friends. So this is more the happy hour because it's only 50 to 60 pounds. So you could call it, that's why, I, that's why me and my friend Jim, we, we decided to call this the uh, Pagani happy hour because it's like co going out for cocktails, but on a budget. So you go to Weatherspoons and have a couple of cheap pints. And you know what? I love doing that as well. So this is the kind of watch I would wear proudly on my wrist I was going out and have a chilled night out and it makes a bit of a statement it's not too loud it makes you look like a bit of a geezer uh, but not too flashy so I'm going to put it on my wrist so yeah I've got a seven inch wrist which is uh, average and yeah sits really nice it's comfortable and um, I like that he's put it on this upgraded strap because it suits this upgraded strap a bit more color and the, and the brown goes really well with the blue a lot of the clothes and things you've got to think, consider what you wear, you've got to think, if you're going to accessorise a bit, it's easy to change a strap to go if you're wearing some nice smart brown shoes or uh, some smart casual brown trainers, these would work with it, or you're wearing jeans with a blue belt, not a blue belt, blue jeans with a brown belt, this will work with it. Or you could wear it that way around, brown jeans with a blue belt, look really nice, <laughs> if you're a teacher. Um, but yeah, this, this is a good looking watch in my opinion. I wonder what you guys think. And that's quite big, but if you want a smaller watch, the, you're looking more into a, maybe a dress watch. This is more of a, like I said, it's a fun, dressier, smart, casual watch. And I think it, it does a good job of that. And look at that dial design. For a 50 to 60 pound watch, to have that interesting kind of effect on there is really nice. Throw the reflection on my light. Let's get this out of the way a bit. To give you a different perspective. It's like a deep, rich blue. It's nice. So let's see how much happy hour weighs on the leather bracelet, leather strap. It's 83 grams. Yeah, it's for a 43 mil chunky watch. That's light, you know, less, less than 100 grams for a watch is, I would say, deemed in the, in the pretty light category. Uh, 150 grams is deemed a nice, comfortable weight for a sports watch on a steel bracelet, sized down from a seven inch wrist like mine. So less than 100 grams, it's, you're not going to really notice it on your wrist. And it just adds a bit of class having an automatic movement, be it entry level, they're dirt cheap these movements. So if it proves to give you problems in a few years time, it'd be a shame to throw it away, not the whole watch, just the movement. And you can buy replacements and I'm sure you could do upgrades. You could probably upgrade this to a Myota. And what I hear is similar sizings, but it depends how far you want to go with that kind of messing around with this kind of watch. This is the kind of thing you're going to pick up now and then wear when you go out. It's unlikely to wear out. You're going to get a good few years out of this and considering it's cheap price it's not too bad now criticisms i still think even though 43 mil for, for many is a nice size i think this would have been nicer as a 40 mil to be honest with you and i think it would they could have kept the same handset and the handset would have fitted within the dial 
parameters better. So I just it bugs me a bit when you've got a seconds hand that's falling short of the minute track. It's like it's sort of teasing you. It's like lingering a bit further away than it should do from the, the minute track. That bugs me. And the same with the the hour hand's fine. It's almost it's almost kissing the nine o'clock, twelve, three, and six. It would have been better if it was a touch longer and touch, you know, it lined up with that. And then the minute hand, again, needs to be just a touch longer. I think they need to just tweak the hand sizes to be appropriate for the rest of the dimensions. And I think they could have made the, the Pagani design logo a bit more compact. I think that would look good if Pagani design had Pagani then design underneath it, and then they shrunk it maybe 10%. And the same with the word automatic, they could have tweaked that down a little bit. So these are just refinements, and then the date complication is quite small, but then that's the, due to the nature of the movement. Uh, you, you, you're limited by the size of the date wheel and, and the numbers. You can't do anything about that unless you find a movement with much bigger numbers. And you won't want to put a Cyclops on here because it would look absolutely horrific because it's not that type of watch. And water resistance, again, it's they state, what does it say on here? It just says, yeah, 100 metres. I don't know if it would do that, to be honest with you. I know it's got a screw-down case back, but it doesn't have a screw-down crown. And there are other watches which state 100 metre water resistance, although proven by another awesome channel, I Like Watches. He's doing a great series at the moment. Go check him out, doing um, pressure uh, water-resistant testing on a lot of different watches. And the Bugatti design, their Submariner homages, which have screw-down crowns, they've done okay, actually, with the water-resistance testing. So I would trust those. But they do have the benefit of screw down crown. This doesn't. So I wonder how this would do. But it doesn't matter. It's not that kind of watch, to be honest. This is a, unless you're going to go swimming to the pub or to a restaurant, I wouldn't really be worrying about that. And you could wash your hands. You can do stuff like that without worrying about it getting any water ingress. So totally appropriate for this type of watch. So it's time to summarize, really. I think for the money, this is an awesome choice. You can't go wrong, really. You've got to consider the size, though, for your wrist. Um, if you have a, a more elegant and smaller wrist, uh, this would be deemed a little bit big for you. But it's down to personal taste. I know people who have tiny wrists and they like to wear dinner plates on their wrists. So it's down to you guys. And, you know, you've seen it on my seven inch wrist and it, it sits really well. It curves nicely on the lugs. Really nice curve on there, 22 mil lug width, so that's in proportion to it. The, oh, I didn't tell you lug to lug. I always forget the lug to lug, because you've got to consider that because it's a big watch. You've got to also think about how long the watch is. So I've got to include this in my summary. Yeah, it's about 50 mil. So yeah, that, that's acceptable because it doesn't have any solid links or anything here which are going to make it stick out more. And because they curve nicely, I think it's going to sit very comfortably on many people's wrists. I've highlighted the few little design tweaks they could do to make this a bit better, such as the sizing of the hands and uh, the length of the hands, I mean, and maybe it would have been better as a 40 mil and ever so slightly thinner. But otherwise, I think for the, definitely for the money, bear that in mind, it is really good value. It's worth your attention. So the happy hour gets my approval and I would recommend you check it out and I've shown you where to get it. And it's as easy as that. So thanks for watching my mini review of this beautiful Pagani design happy hour. Bye for now.